You are listening to Drop Tent Media Network. To episode number two of Slapstick Sports, where comedy and sports meet. That's a shitty slogan. Oh, slogan. Slogan. We'll work on that. Uh, <laughs> guys, I am Adam Nutter, uh, as you may or may not know, but if not, welcome. I'm Adam Nutter, sitting to my right, the Kevin Dalton, our money man. What's up, everybody? <laughs> sitting across from me, comedian Blaze Gagakis. What's going on? <laughs> and again, behind the computer, producer Evan. What's up? Um, guys, if this is your first time tuning in, welcome. This is Slapstick Sports. We are part of the Drop Tent Media Network. If you guys want to check that out, it has a lot of other great podcasts on it. You can see them on the wall behind Blaze. We got News of Words, which I'm on. Uh, we, got, we got Popular Opinions, Jazz Cabbage, which uh, Blaze's podcast. We got the Magical Misery Tour. We got Jive Turkeys. We have more on the way. You can find all that at Facebook, at Drop Tent, Instagram, at Drop Tent Podcast. Uh, you can email us at drop 10 podcasts at gmail.com. And then uh, if you want to check out the website and you, if you're interested in even joining, if you guys yourself are a podcast, uh, nerds, words, podcast.com slash drop tent. Oh, and we got our own Instagram shit. Finally, um, for this podcast, we got, um, uh, our Instagram is what plays. It's sla- it's sports slapstick. Sports slapstick. Our Adam. Twitter is slapstick cast and Facebook is a slapstick sports. So, guys, give that a follow. That'd be super much appreciated. Social media, baby. Social media, baby. And again, uh, if you are not list- if you're not watching us, you're just listening. Guys, drop tent on YouTube. Watch this. We pull up shit on the fucking screen. We watch videos. It's f- way more fun. So go subscribe to our YouTube. Ch- Evan doesn't even know the goddamn website. Their own podcast. <laughs> There's the worst podcast. Could not be found. Uh, yeah. So, guys, check out the YouTube. But here we are. Episode number two, talking sports, guys. How was your week, by the way? It's been it's been like two weeks since our last episodes. How have you guys been? Good, man. Yeah, good. Yeah, just hitting the beach, hanging out, stand up, sports. Yeah, checking yeah. up. Uh, two weeks hiatus for myself. Yeah, yeah, nice little you two know, week two mini week, vacation. Mini vacation. Where'd you go? Nowhere. Nowhere. <laughs> Okay. No, we did. <laughs> That's a staycation. We had a that lot is. of breakfast together. However, we ate a lot of breakfast, and I played a lot of golf. Really? Yeah. Did you guys hit each other up like, you want to get breakfast? Yeah. yeah. Almost every day. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Almost every day. My idea of a vacation is definitely not having breakfast with you every Well, morning. you know what? <laughs> You're missing out on a fucking good time. That's because right. Because we have good conversations with this breakfast. And good breakfast. And and you got to watch him eat his fucking uh, Viking breads with bananas. No, I eat real breakfast no, food. He, ate, I oh, he actually ate a real breakfast. French toast, yeah. pancakes, all that yeah. shit. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, then maybe I'd be in. I can't gain weight. Like, yeah, I, I can't. I physically, I've been trying. I can't. I'm at, I You're going to have to go back and read I, the history I, books I, after <laughs> Auschwitz and learn how they gained weight. I think they you just got, give you crumbs. I think they just got their freedom the, back. Yeah. That's how they gained their weight back. <laughs> yeah. That's freedom weight, man. Free- <laughs> there you go. I know all about that because I'm an American. I got that freedom weight, kid. <laughs> oh, it's fucking terrible. It's hilarious. <laughs> it's so fucking funny. Yeah, how did you gain weight? With that freedom weight, son. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, Try. my God. All right. Oh, Jesus. It's hilarious. Sorry. If you're they're, watching this in Iran. They're yeah. really tickling me funny for yeah. some reason. <laughs> I don't know why. It was freedom it weight. Was funny. I don't know why freedom weight makes me fucking laugh. All right. <laughs> All right. So we got some topics we want to discuss. Um, you Blaze, you want to do yours first? Yeah, sure. You, are you guys want to do Blaze's first? Is that cool? Yeah, that's good. Let's go. Well, it doesn't matter because we're doing it first. So anyway. <laughs> there you go. Let's go. All right. Bring up your topic, bitch. <laughs> so I got the NFL top 100, but we're only doing the top 10 uh, players voted by the players. So this is NFL players voting who the other NFL player, the top 100 are. Yes. And from 1 to 10, starting well, at let's do, 1. Let's do 10 first. 
You want to go backwards? Yeah, it makes more sense. All right, so <laughs> all right, we'll just go. I was gonna do the whole list, and we can go into them, or you just want to do one at a time? No, we'll do we'll do ten down. To, we'll do ten to one first. Just yeah, name straight them all, through. and okay. then we'll go through ten to one. Yeah. All right, yeah, that's good. So at ten, we got Von Miller. At nine, we got Julio Jones. At eight, we got Aaron Rodgers. At seven, we got Antonio Brown. At six, we got. Kisses his son on the mouth, Tom Brady. <laughs> At five, we got Todd Gurley. Four, we got Pat Mahomes. Three, Khalil Mack. Two, Drew Brees. And number one, Aaron Donald. All right. Now to be now, we're not debating the list. We're just we're right. just debating if they're either Hall of Fame worthy. Hall of Famers now gonna be or they're not gonna be at all. Right. Okay. So we're not debating. So I don't want to fucking get tweets or Instagram shit yeah. like. Well, I disagree with you. Yeah. We're not debating the fucking list. Yeah. We're just write, write the NFL if you want to debate. Yeah, the list. yeah. So write the players. Yeah, yeah. voting. Right. Yeah, right. tweet all the players <laughs> in the NFL. The Let them know. Um, all right. So Von Miller is he a Hall of Famer? I'm gonna say hands down yes. Yes. Now? Absolutely. Absolutely. Everyone. 100. percent Yeah. He's at yeah. The, he's yes. towards the end of his career. So this already, is yeah. this is a unanimous yes. I think. Yeah. 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 Von Miller. Yeah, for sure. I'm gonna give him a big old check mark. Okay. Julio Jones. Ooh. Now that can that, you bring up Julio Jones's career stats? I would like to see Julio Jones's career stats as well. Thank you. I, because I, his I, touchdowns are low. He's going to have a lot yards, of yardage right? and a lot of receptions. Yeah, but his touchdowns. But his touchdowns yeah. are going to be low. But, and, but hold and on. he didn't win a Super Bowl. Hall of this isn't. We're not talking like Pro Bowl worthy. Let's not keep that in mind. Like, this isn't like no, all, we're talking. This Hall isn't of all fame. team. This isn't. This isn't all team worthy. This is Hall of Fame. H O F worthy. Right. Of, of his right. of his eight years in the league so far, he has six of them as over a thousand yards. Yards, uh, most of them over fifteen hundred. Okay, hold on though. Fifty-one touchdowns. That's weak. And he has five in a row. But those, those yards are beefy though. It's uh, he's he's going to be first ballot Hall of Famer, I think, hands down. And I, well, I think a big part of that is his character because you know how like they sure, they held To sure, out so sure. because he's an asshole, but yeah. but Tio is better. Yeah, I I agree, but he doesn't ever talk trash, and he just plays the position. All right, well, all right. how many more years do you think he has left? Three, four, three at or least. four. Okay, so what's he sitting solid, at? Now? What's, solid, solid. What's, what's, like what's his total yards at right now? Ten thousand. Um, what? Ten, ten, seven. All right, so, so it so ended fourteen. If he did well, four more thousand yard four seasons, four more thousand yard seasons, he's going to be just shy of fifteen thousand, I think. Yeah, right and around. What? Hold on though, what did he accomplish in his career? Being a dope ass guy, who catch how balls. many? How many? How many Super Bowl appearances? No, One. no, 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 no. You can't go Super Bowls. Not with a wide receiver, you right? You can't go Super Bowls with anybody, really. Yeah, you really Not quarterbacks. Can't. You can't. No, you can't. No, you can't. No, you I, th- can't. I think you can. Okay, that's fair. That's you can't because Dan Marino never won a Super that's Bowl. That's fair. That's but fair. he only made it to one. That's yeah, fair. but that's fair. So he, yeah, you, you okay. He made it to a Super Bowl. Okay, okay, fine. And he was actually, and he was actually a big part of. Here's here's another one too with that. If um. Let's say uh, John Elway never made the Super Bowls towards the end of his career. He was still a Hall of Fame quarterback. Yeah, but you're sure. you're talking like uh, so. I think there's kind of echelons to this. Like Julio Jones would be a really good player, but Dan Marino, John Elway, they are great players, and I think that's kind of a different thing. You know, I th- so even if like like you're saying John Elway, he didn't make it or win Super Bowls, he would still be in the Hall of Fame. But that's because he's great. You know, yeah, but for the for right now, I think Julio Jones is pretty great. Comparatively, I, he's a he's at least for the last you know at least the, almost the last decade a top three four wide receiver. I'm, I'm gonna uh, you go ahead. Sorry. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna say the only thing I think that's probably going to hold him back a little bit is the lack of touchdowns. Yeah, I think it's that's fifty one touchdowns. It's not right. a lot. Yeah, I'm just but I'm saying if he goes another four more than years, I if have. he goes another four years <laughs> even at a thousand yards. He's going to be just shy of 15,000 yards. 15,000 yards would get you in the Hall of Fame as a, as a wide receiver. Yeah, I know. But those touchdowns, but the touchdowns are touchdowns is low. Dude, he, had exactly. one, he had a season with only two. Holy shit, Larry Fitz. Jesus, retire, my dude. Yeah. Look 116? At look at Larry Fitz. See, but you look at that, though. Larry Fitzgerald, great. One of the greatest of all yeah, time. Yeah, I agree. Um, I mean, the stats, other than the touchdowns, aren't too far off. If anything, Julio Jones has better numbers Other but didn't, didn't Fitz miss, miss all like two years of injuries <laughs> No, not Did really. He? No, no, I don't no think he's got. Is oh, he, no, he never gets he's hurt. Been a star. No, he, he never, never gets hurt. hurt. He's got hurt like once or twice in his whole I'm thinking career. Julio Jones got hurt that two yeah. years ago, and he yeah. missed yeah. all year. Okay, I'm, I'm getting my things. And even with that, he's still. So I mean, that was I'm his gonna, what 580 yards. But other than that, it's you know. I'm gonna go with yes, but he needs to more. 
He needs more. Okay, okay right. you know what? He's not now. Maybe with more at the end of his career. At the end of his yeah. career, more touchdowns. More touchdowns. It's okay. not the it's not the yards. It's no. touchdowns. So, no. so and, he's, and he's saying this year he's in so, he feels so good he's going to get three thousand yards this year. He's going for three thousand receiving yards this year. It's not all up to him, right? If they, I but mean, it's not all up to him. No. If, if that would was, be insane. If it was that all up to him, he could easily get two thousand. Oh, absolutely. His, but it's not the skill set he has. Exactly. He's, exactly. He's, he's he's the younger version of what Megatron. And yeah, actually, yeah Johnson. Johnson for those who don't with know, the, with the nine right. years that he played, would you guys consider him Hall of Fame? Calvin, Calvin Johnson? Johnson. No. 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 I, I still think he's going to make it. Probably, he's, but I don't think it's no. Well, I mean, he was the best for a couple of years. But. When's he eligible? Soon, Next, a year or two. Soon, because didn't the NFL just say that in 2020 they're going to extend it to 20, 20 people getting in? Yeah, I think oh, they next year they're going to. They got to calm down with that. Next, well, no, they're, they're <laughs> well, no, doing they need it because to, of the hundred years. No, it makes thing. it less they, prestigious then. Not, not really. No, no, no. Yeah, it does. No, because what they're doing is they're you trying to. It. They're trying to give it more. To some of the older players that deserve to be in for the era that they played in, that they're going to. Tr- I think what's no, going to happen. No, fuck those is- guys. You should have got in when it was your time. No, back no, of the back, list. The, back of the fucking well, list. For the bitch. longest time, the NFL has been almost antiquated when it comes to the Hall of Fame because they only allow so many, and three of them are the. Uh, they the, should allow the one legends. per year. So the, one. Old, the older, the older era. Nah. Yeah, that'd be dope. Now, I think they're going to let in more coaches this year too. This next year too, they're going to have some more of the coaches. Coming Doug in. Peterson's getting in. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, who's next on the list? All right, we got uh, Aaron Rodgers. Uh, Was it double check, Raj? Yo, in not even a question. Yeah, that's yeah. not a question. Uh, yeah, he's in. I agree with that. Antonio Brown. Antonio Brown. Oh man, mm. uh, no. No, that's but, actually but you know harder what? than he's I, think he, I bet you he's got more. <laughs> because he's going to have more touchdowns than Tulio. But he might have a shy, He's had a shorter, he's had a shorter time of being that. It's going to be close. Look at that. Actually, yo, seven, four. you know what? I, he's I, in I, before I'm, Julio. I'm going to say right now, he's in before. Yes, he's in before Julio. Not only is he in before oh, Julio, sh- yeah. but um, he will. He will it's just not now. It's not soon. Yeah. A little more work, but he gets in before right. Julio. Yeah, I agree. Do you yeah. still think he's going to put up the Julio. same kind of numbers with Derek Carr throwing the ball? Yes. Yeah. I like, I like Derek Carr. Okay. Of course I do. All right. Um, so I, I think I think Gruden, <coughs> I think Gruden is actually going to try and feature him in this because that was he wasn't he their big off season pickup. Yeah. Yeah. So they want to make it worth their while picking him up. So they're going to feature him. I have. They have to. Yeah. They have also, to. they I can't mean, repeat an Amari Cooper thing. Elaborate, please. Well, like, like like a fail well, a that's failed. That's sad how they didn't uh, work with that. That's what I'm yes. saying. Yeah. They have they, they don't want to do that again. No. So they're gonna like in other words when Amari Cooper drafted there. Yeah. He he doesn't suck. He was a stud. No, he's great. He should have been a stud. He is right. a stud. He is it's a stud. just they yeah. fucked him. Well, he should have been a stud. They didn't there. use so him. They right. didn't use him right. So okay. so in other words, they're not gonna make that mistake with someone who's already a fucking potential Hall of Famer. My own, yeah okay that's cool. I agree with that. So I think with more time he gets in, but before Julio, now, it doesn't matter. I know, but still, is that we all in agreement? More time, yeah, yeah. more time. I, Tom Brady, yes, yes. Next. No, fuck that. No. <laughs> uh, Todd Gurley, no idea. Too young. He's, yeah, he's only been in the league for what four years? This is not even. Year. Yeah. Right, this, this is about fourth year. This is fourth year. This is about projections. I know. If but if he, he hold on, not to cut you off, Ed, but like. Here's the problem with projections. I know that's what we have to do, but also, theoretically, week one, he could shatter his fucking ACLs or whatever or his knees and be like, you're career injury injury. Well, and then never, ever go, you know? He, he's already true. on that track where he, they're yeah. already looking at um, cutting his time down for the year. They need a second back to really be... Because know, he takes a beating. Well, because his I, knees I, are already bad. Yeah, because right. he does the yeah. whole work of the offense. Because <laughs> he's, he's so super talented, yeah. though, that... They didn't have anything else, and he was their offense. Could you pull up his receiving and rushing stats? Because he's a dual threat. Because until, yeah. until Jared Goff really came into his own, he was their offense. Jared yes. Goff still hasn't come into his no, own. No, but he's true. Better. But he's better than he was. Yeah, no, he's just a, a, a product so, of the system. All right, so oh, so, no, he, oh, so this, oh, this is his fifth year in the league. Yeah, yeah. This would, okay, this would be his fifth year in the league. Shit. All right. Okay, so he has 46 t- rushing touchdowns. That's, yeah. okay. That's a lot. And 10 receiving touchdowns. Oh, yeah. And ten receiving touchdowns, so that's fifty-six touchdowns total. That's a, that's that's as many as Julio, dude, and way less time. Way okay, yes, but more time with barring injury. How many rushing yards does he have? 
What? Why does it feel like my mic keeps it, going? It did in for and a minute. Oh, try the bottom of your finger. Hold on. Sometimes it just Grab its balls. There you go. Grab it by the balls. Good. All right, there we go. Hey, there we go. He's back. Hey. What were we going to say? 4,000 rushing yards 45, right now. 4,500. 4, See, yeah, he's got a lot of touchdowns, but a running back is rushing yards. I'm going to say the, he has the uh, potential. I he's got the potential. He's but got the right potential. Now, no potential. potential. No, potential. But right yes. now, no. He's not he's even got, He's got to, He's got to get to close to 10,000 rushing yards. He, here's the thing, though, especially – See, I, I think to be – The unfairness with saying that is I think we're thinking like – Old school running backs where they really didn't come out of the backfield with the ball. Like that wasn't in the offense back then. But now a lot of the offense is the running back has to be a dual threat. Okay, let's base it on. Um, so like Barry Sanders was, was on, catching back a lot of balls out of the backfield, like Todd Gurley or Le'Veon Bell are. Let's let's base it on Ladainian Tomlinson. He was the prototype okay, for sure. for Todd Gurley and Le'Veon Bell. Sure, fair. Okay, so if you pro- if you place it on that, sure. Where's Where's Ladainian Tomlinson's career rushing yards? He's in the Hall of Fame, and he's in the Hall. Of sure, Fame. that's fair. I forgot played for the Jets. I was sad. So, yeah. so there you 145, go. 13,000 13, rushing yards. Rushing. How many rece- hold on. Go to receiving. Go down. Just keep going down. Keep going down. Keep all the way down. Receiving touchdowns, 17, 4,000 plus receiving yards. That's a lot for he a running back. He had 37 plus 20-yard runs. Receiving. No, that's receiving. Yeah, yeah rece- it's well, not receptions. that much for nowadays because they got they were getting thrown the ball a lot less when he no, was No, that's playing. what I'm saying. Yeah. Correct. That's I mean, why I'm saying it's a correct. lot for him. I just him. looked at David yes. Johnson, who's played for five years, and he's been injured you right. know, off pretty much. He has 11 touchdowns in those five years on receiving. Right. Yeah. No, that's my point. Right. Is, that's but why Kevin this is, said. This is yeah, my right. They're looking for hybrids right. now. So he's got to get – Todd Gurley, I will say, can be in because he gets the touchdowns. But he needs more rushing yards. He but needs he, to be a ten thousand rushing. He's yards. Got he, he only had one year that under a thousand yards. Well, right. But we're saying, does he need more time? Yes. Yes. Of course. Yes. Of course. He is. He absolutely has the capability yeah, of but, getting in. But he needs more time. But these other players were like, they need one or two more years. Right. He needs. He uh, needs five. Another he half, needs, a, career. Another half career. a career. Right. Yeah. So, so I, no. The answer is no. Yeah. The answer. So is my no. answer is no. Yeah. yeah okay. I don't. I don't. I wrote no. That's everyone's answer. I think his career is. Two, two, three two, years, right? At two. the most from now, and unless and, and and with the way his knees are, right? I don't. Yeah. No offense. I, yeah. I really hope so, he doesn't. I hope so, he lasts a lot longer. But so if he's only got two or three years left, then no, he's yeah, not, it's in. not even close. No. Then he's yeah. not in. No, because he didn't do enough in that time. Just be like, hey, wow, Todd, remember that like five years? I mean, we're, you were we're good? obviously <laughs> we're obviously assuming here, but that's yeah, yeah. that's that's the game, and we do um, hope for the best, right? Of course, yeah. uh, Pat Mahomes. Too, too, soon. too soon. Too soon. Too soon, but if he continues if on he, the trajectory he is yeah, now. If he keeps up throwing 50 touchdowns a year, sure. <laughs> if, if he throws anywhere from like yeah. 38 to 50 touchdowns of a year course. and then sets a record in the next five years, which he probably will for touchdowns. But um, he's in, dude, but it, like you were saying before with Todd Gurley, he could blow out yep. his knee the first yeah. game. Too early, so right it's, now it's no. No, yeah, no. too soon. Right now it's no. Right now it's no. Do you yeah. think he would go in on legend? If he were to, if he were to just have like the most insane, where his both of his knees got blown out, and he on the played first how many years for like the first, like on on the first on the first game of this coming year? No, absolutely not. No way. No fucking no way. No okay. way. I would be furious if the NFL did that. He doesn't deserve if they did it. Did what? Put him in on merit. I'm like, yeah, he had that one great year, huh? Yeah. No. No what? fucking way. Yeah, I, was, I, yeah. I don't think he would get in either. I was just asking. No. Yeah. No. All right. Fine. Number three, Khalil Mack. I need to see his stats, dude. Yeah, same. if he keeps it up, I need, I need to see his stats. Him and, and Von Miller, I, I feel like are kind of the same player. Yeah, I know, but Von Miller has the numbers. Yeah, well, that's the yeah, thing. I'm just so that's why I don't see Max numbers. Their abilities. I met him though, so that matters. Uh, <laughs> so that's a yes. sacks, two picks, two touchdowns. Uh, ten sacks. Can we see four fumbles? For his... That's nuts. Yeah. Fumble recoveries, four fumbles. Oh yeah, can we see fumble recoveries and four fumbles? Yeah. Okay. No safeties. Pass defended. Oh, really? What the fuck? No. Oh, he's got two touchdowns and two interceptions. How is that not showing? Individual. P- whatever. Okay. Fine. Um. That's so weird. I think he. If he. I think I'm with Evan. If he. If he keeps getting ten plus sacks a year, for sure, you yeah. have to go. Yeah. Absolutely. So absolutely. I say more time, especially yes. playing a linebacker position. I mean, uh, he's, he's a hybrid. Yeah. yeah. He's, well, a, I mean, he's, he's a linebacker. D end. Yeah. yeah. Well, so, that's, what, that's what Von Miller is. The, yeah, straight up. Yeah. Yeah. The distinction between more time yes and more time too soon no is he he only needs like four more years yeah, of that. Yeah. 
Correct. Yeah, yeah. Right. Correct. But like well, Pat Mahomes needs well, like there, seven more yeah. years. Well, of that. Well, he's at five years right now. If he was to get four more years, it'd be a nine-year career, and that's a good. Yeah, that's sure. what I mean. Yeah. Right. Right. So he's yeah. close enough. He's yeah. kind of. Yeah. So you, can, you can actually set this at um, four years or less remaining in your career to project whether they need more time or not. To that's basically what it is. Yeah. 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 All right, so we'll move on to number two, which is Drew Brees. Yeah, which absolutely. Which is an obvious no. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right, yeah. I don't know. He has that dumb ball on his face, and that takes yeah. me out of the game a little bit. I yeah. know. He's like his the, wife is very pretty. He's like the uh, <laughs> the Louisiana Harry Potter. Where they, they put the lightning bolt on his cheek. Dude, Damn, you know, Drew. You know what's so funny? Jesus, seventy four thousand yards. You know what's so funny? Those Ooh, first he's five, played for fifty years. Those <laughs> first those first five years of the Chargers too. He was good. No, he wasn't. They no he, no, he was a shit quarterback. They were like they were like, you gotta they, they wanted him out. That's why he went to the Saints. That well that's those first five years, they were featuring LT. Yes. But he they was, were featuring LT. They I know that he hurt his shoulder. Yeah, that was so. LT in defense. That's what I'm saying. Right. And, and then he went to the Saints and they're like, Oh, Drew Brees is a good quarterback. <laughs> like, well, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's, I mean, how much of that yet. how much of that was Marty Schottenheimer and how much of that's uh, Sean Payton? I think a lot of it's Drew Brees too, dude. Well, no, I, I'm not saying it's Bro, not he Drew Brees. Has five seasons look at over the, five thousand yards. But look, That's at the, insane. but look at the look at the system that he's put. Sure, in. Sean Payton's a psycho. You know, you know what so. the most insane part about that is? He has one season where he's thrown more than twenty interceptions. That's insane. Oh yeah, thirty-three and twenty. Yeah, that's true. That's wow. insane. Um, there's a lot of seasons where it's mostly under fifteen or lower, uh, and then he has a lot under ten. And he still threw 33 touchdowns that year yeah. and almost 5,000 yeah. yards. He has 520 touchdowns career. Yeah. Yeah. So that's, that's, that's a lot of touchdowns. He's, he's going to go down that's as a top. That's I a think lot at, of touchdowns. Of course. Top 10. And he, has, and he has a Super Bowl. Yep. Shit, my arm Could would go be sore. My, my arm Could would be sore. Has a chance for another one. Yeah. My arm would be sore now, too. <laughs> so he has so like 10 seasons with over 30. Yards. He has 10, like 10 seasons with over 30 touchdowns. Damn. Cool. Not. Um, he's in. He's in. Yeah. And the last but not least, it's, Aaron Donald. Yep. It's A. A. Ron. A. A. Ron. A. <laughs> a. <Aaron>. Ron. <laughs> so you now, mean Aaron? <laughs> he is not the highest paid defensive player. That goes to Khalil. Jesus, Mack now, though, correct? he has fifty nine and a half fucking sacks, though, man. No, three more years of in what he's doing five here. He's years. going to be in. Yeah, three, three, four more yeah, years. He only of this. needs two he more years. He, he only needs two more years sorry, of that. Sorry. Yeah, no, yeah. No, you're right. Yeah. Yeah. I say yeah. I, I, he has the same exact. He had pretty much the same stats as Cleo Mack, not for nothing. But look at the combined tackles too. Yeah, but he's a defensive yeah. tackle. <laughs> two hundred and sixty-four combined tackles. That's yeah, nuts. And he, as a D tackle, as a D tackle, that's yeah. nuts. No, but hold on. That many sacks as a D tackle is nuts. Yeah, that's yeah. what I mean. That's unheard yeah. of. Absolutely. That's Madden numbers. Twenty and a half. <laughs> Yeah, that's spam X. That's yeah. more than a, most of his seasons combined. Like so if you were to just take two. I say yes. Yeah, I, I say yeah. Absolutely, just, absolutely, he's in. Yeah, he's gonna yep. get there. So the only no we really have is Gurley. Yeah, and Pat Mahomes. Yeah, I, and then Pat Mahomes isn't really a no. It's just there's it's not way enough. too it's soon. Yeah, he has a year in the league. Yeah. We well, think that every player on this list has the potential. Well, it would be fun if we went yes to everybody. Yeah. Everyone's in. Okay, next part. Yeah. <laughs> like, what are we doing? That would have been boring. There would have been no conversation. Yeah, that's true. But that that concludes this part of the, the episode. Yeah. There you go. So, um, yeah, so Kev. All right. So here's a question then since we're going off of all these top 10 players and stuff like that. So um, you get one jersey from each major sport. Now I'm talking – Football, baseball, basketball, hockey. Yeah. Okay. Not from your team. Favorite team. Not from your favorite team. Who do you get? See, now, I, I, again, I think we should do it a retired player and a current player. Okay. Because it uh, makes I'm it a little more that. fun. And, yeah, I'm fine with that. And I, my argument, because I know we were talking off the air about the argument of the current player against a retired player wearing it. Because as when I was younger... I was way more of a diehard like New York sports. But as I got older, I real I was became more of a sports fan and more of a fan of the like athlete. Like overall, than, sports like, fan. Like, yeah. Of yeah. Course, that, just, that doesn't mean I'm gonna root for the fucking Red Sox every. You know what I'm saying? No, no, but right. it means, I hate right. them. Yeah. But like, I mean, I, I won't wear a Red Sox jersey. But yeah. like, I'll wear a Baker Ooh, Mayfield jersey. I smell yeah. a bet. I smell a bet. He won't wear a Red Sox. jersey. I won't wear a fucking Red Sox jersey. Yeah, but it's like 
I don't have a Red Sox. Like, you you know, have to buy I hate Red the Red Sox, Sox too. Fuck. I won't wear. I, well, I already have the Eagles jersey. But I will. I, oh, actually, I have. I don't have that rivalry with the Phillies. I don't have that hatred. I have a Philly jersey. I have a Jim Tell me a Philly jersey. I'll oh, wear wow. it on the show. Um, so all right, so we're gonna do each major sport. We're gonna do our our. So, and, oh, but also like. I have retired players' jerseys, so I'm not going to count them either. So we're doing current and retired. Like, like, like the I ones, have the ones that you already have. Yeah, I, I, like I have two John Lynch jerseys from yeah, the Boston and the Broncos, fine. so I'm not going to count fine. them. All right, that's so fine. So I'm, I'm going to say stuff I don't have already. That's fine. That's fine. Um, all right, so let's do uh, let's let's do um, basketball first. Ooh, basketball. We feel like we never talk basketball again on the show. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Let's talk basketball first. Uh, okay, let's start with you. Current okay. and retired. Let's do, let's go retired first. Current and retired. I don't know. See, if I'm going to go retired. No, please. I, I, I mean, I'd time. almost like to go. I'd almost, I'd almost <laughs> probably go Moses Malone. Interesting. So is that, is that your. Because he had, I, and I could go because he was Houston and he was the Sixers. Right. But he was also he was Houston. Main, mainly he was Houston. Also, he was a mainly Houston. Yeah, yeah. So, I, I mean. It's just his all around game and he was just he just went in and did his job and you know. Before my time, but sure. Yeah. I believe uh it. Blaze. You oh NBA? Yeah. Retired? Retired. Yeah, oh we'll, we'll go retired first. We'll That's circle fine. back around. That's current. fine. Uh, Wilt Chamberlain. I'm sorry. I, I know I said retired and current, but I figured it was all the retired That's first. That's fine. Yeah, I'm sorry. Wilt Chamberlain. Wilt Chamberlain. Fair, okay. Ev. Wait, because I like tall dudes who are white in basketball. Um, I love the white boys. He's not, not. He's not white. He's not white. Will Chamberlain's not white. He's no. very Yo, black. Who am I thinking what? of? Larry Bird. Will Larry Bird. Still, man. Right. Come on. Back to no Larry Bird. That was a very racistly charged <laughs> opinion. <laughs> wow. All right. Wow. So That's, we learned two things. Blaze going, is very racist, and also, <laughs> I mean, you were saying the N word a lot before we started. <laughs> oh, oh my god! Throw back my own fucking. Wow. Damn. Damn. Uh, no, I would um. Sha- Shaquille O'Neal, the old, uh, the old, Shaq? the old, the old Shaq jersey, Magic the Orlando, Mad- the Orlando, nice. old Orlando that was jersey. literally nice. my favorite thing to watch the, as a the kid. Black, Got the me black jersey sports. or the white jersey? Um, I like the black, the yeah, black with absolutely. the, uh, the, blues, the black jersey. The yes, 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 absolutely. Yeah. Although I do like the white one, but I like the black one. Oh, better. the black cool jersey with the stripes yes, and, yes. and all that because they bring that back every once in a while. But I love the black yeah, and the yeah. stars. Yeah, so nineties, not racist. No, but all of our jerseys, right? You are they're black. So, oh go ahead. you're black and you think they should go back to slavery is what you said before the show is what hey, I heard. I was just That's reading, what we heard. We I like, was just reading your Why journal, you dog. That? It's not going to work. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I got to go Jordan. Okay. Got to go okay. Jordan. I got to go with the, not the four or five. Not no, the four or five, the, uh, Jordan. You got the two, three. Two, three, Jordan. Uh, All about the Wizards. Where are you going to go? Jordan. Are you going to stay with Jordan when we go to baseball? <laughs> I love uh, Jordan. Oh, Jordan, uh, red, red and black. Red and black. Okay. Classic Absolutely. red and black. Classic red and black. Classic, classic red and black. All right. Yep. All right. Now let's now let's do uh, retired. Uh, we got NFL now. In the, in well, yep, yeah, yep. NFL. NFL. Kev. Retired. Ooh. This, um, this is actually fucking hard. This one's the hardest one. I think. Like. For I, me. I, for I, me. Right, I already have a bunch. Like I have Erlacher. I have Tomlinson. I have two John Lynches. Oh yeah, I had a Tomlinson. I have a Jason Seahorn jersey. <laughs> I wow. have like a bunch of fucking Jason retired Seahorn. guys. Yeah. You know, I'm I'm probably. Would go with um, I don't know. There was something about watching the Raiders mm. when I was growing up, so I probably go with like a Ken Stabler jersey. Ken Stabler, that's a good pull though. I like that. Pull. Interesting Ken choice. Ken Stabler, the snake. Interesting choice, dude. The NFL screwed him over too. Wow, Ken but Stabler. I go Ken Stabler. Okay, it's a good. Pull. I like that. What is it, you got? it was a toss up. Is it him or Fred Belitnikoff? <laughs> How about you get a Ray Guy jersey? The only puncher in the hall. It's of made fame. out of wool. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Comes with a leather helmet. <laughs> Man, retired. Fuck. Uh, NFL's hard shit. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm gonna go with uh, Johnny Unitas. Interesting. Ooh, there you go. Yeah, That's I just. A good one. I like white. No, we got it. No, you motherfucker. Fine, Warren Moon. <laughs> I'll change it to Warren Moon. I like him too. There you Jeez. go. All right. So I'm I'm gonna pick an eagle, but um. Wait, no, you That's can't. That's not the rule. Okay, you can't so, pick an eagle. I actually, because I like the colorways uh, a little bit better. Listening um, ears. <laughs> Ran, Ran, Randall Cunningham, uh-huh. the Vikings. Bro, okay. Okay. Cool. okay. Cool. That, okay. that purple, the late Fucking night. guy found a really loophole. Cool. No, that's a fair loophole. Hey, I went with Moses Malone with Houston. Yep, that's a fair loophole. Randall. Um, yeah. NFL. Fuck, man. Maybe Barry Sanders. 
That would have been one. That's like my third. Yeah. I think Dion. Yeah. But Dion's Dion my second. would have been another Dion, one. Dion, uh, Dion's up there too. The Dallas but, Dion would be my but second. But Barry the Sanders. Dallas Dion? I, it's a cool fucking jersey, dude. Nah, you gotta <laughs> Atlanta go, Falcons. You got to go with the black Atlanta Falcons jersey. Everybody has that. So I'm going, hold, I'm going Barry Sanders. You don't. <laughs> I'm going Barry Sanders <laughs> white, white jersey Barry Sanders. Okay, okay, right. there you go, okay. there you go. I like the white. Wait, and why the tint. white? Because yeah, I'm the because it's the predominant color. So there you I'm go. I'm turning the room around. You're there joining. There you go. Okay, because it's because it's, it's a superior color. Okay. Uh, what are we gonna do? Wow. What do we want? I said, what are we gonna do for the NHL? NHL. I am probably going to go with um, Wayne Gretzky. Okay. Which which one? Which Wayne Gretzky? Edmonton. Edmonton. Interesting. Oh fuck, dude! I don't even get know. Get the original, man. I get the original. Interesting. I don't know old NHL players really. Go Gretzky then. Uh, wait. Well, yeah, I'm trying to think when the Flyers. And I can't pick a Flyers. Well, actually, I'm, I like the Blues, so I can pick the Flyers if I want. Uh, we'll go with um. Shit, what's that guy's name? Clement. What the hell is his first name? Bill Clement, because I went to school with his son. So. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Evan? I, on, I, I'd probably have to go with the, the older Gretzky. It's just with, cool. Yeah. I, I, Edmonton also? Yeah, because yeah, I, I like, I liked, um, in the, what was it, NHL on the N64, I used to like playing as the older team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And using Wayne Gretzky, that was a lot of fun. So yeah. See, yeah. he was a Ranger, so I feel, you know, I know he was a king and stuff, but I still feel slighted. So I feel remiss to say Gretzky because, you know, yeah. he, was, he was a Ranger. So I'm going to go with... Go with Bernie Pratt. A Paul Korea Anaheim Ducks jersey. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I never even heard of that guy. What's his name? Paul, Paul Korea. Korea. Anaheim Ducks. Korea? Well, that's how I wrote it. It's not spelled like that, but sure. <laughs> I was, that was a toss-up between that and a, and a Steve Eiserman Detroit Red Wings. Well, see, yeah, there you go. You got Steve Eiserman. That would be a good one, too. But I love the Ducks. Yeah. So, okay. With, uh, all right. Um, baseball. Okay. Well, I can't go Hank Aaron because I just bought the Boston Braves Hank Aaron jersey. <laughs> so, I can't go Hank Aaron. Nope. But, um, you know... I'd I'd have to go probably Rod Carew. Really? Yeah. Interesting. Best other than Tony Gwynn, best hitter in baseball. Who was it again? I'm sorry. Rod Carew. How about Ted Williams? Minnesota Twins. Minnesota Twins. With Ted Williams. Uh eh, fuck Ted Williams. Yeah, I mean agreed. <laughs> fuck Ted Williams. Uh, All right. Who are you going with? Uh retired. Oh, Ted Williams because he was no Ty Cobb because he was racist also and you Derek and Jeter, you identify you with that go, go with uh, Joe 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 Sh- Shoeless Joe Shoeless Jackson. Jackson there you go I, I have a Derek Jeter jersey I'm going Derek <laughs> Jeter because anyone who gives the bitches he fucks a fucking basket's cool in my book there you I go. have a Derek Jeter and an Aaron Judge jersey but okay I also have a Jim Tomei jersey so I can't go that uh, someone needs to take you away from Odell's bro. Why do you yeah. have all these jerseys? not allowed in dicks anymore. Yeah, Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, baseball. Oh, Jackie Robinson. Ah, oh, damn. That's a good one. Oh, there you Fuck, go. I should have said that I didn't one. buy it yet. I like, so. I like the, Everybody uh, has Jackie Robinson. The Ken, Ken Griffey Jr., the Seattle Mariners. Ooh, how about the Reds? Oh, there you go. I, st- I like the blue. The, <laughs> yeah, the, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Like light blue, the seafoam green kind of color was really awesome. There you go. All right. There Current. 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 A lot more interesting. Uh, uh, we're back to NBA. We're going to start yep. at the top again. Kev, you go first. NBA current. I'd probably go Steph Curry. Fuck. I was going to say that, too. That's fine. No, no. I'm not going to double up. Okay. Who are you going, then? Uh, Kevin Durant. There you go. That's a good one. Because he has that dope-ass movie where the kid steals his powers through the basketball. Remember that movie? What's that called? Not Like Mike, where he throws the shoes. Space Jam? Oh. No, um, no, no. Not Space Jam. Uh, uh, Thunderstruck. Yeah. Where Thunderstruck. Yeah, where oh they touch the ball at the same time. Still not coming on. And then no, I don't think I'm. There you are. You're there right. I am. Okay. Yeah, right. We'll have to take a look at that later. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Go on. Sorry. Jesus. Okay. Um. No. Thunderstruck. Thunderstruck. He, him and this kid, Kevin Durant, and this kid grab a basketball at the same time, and somehow Kevin Durant's playing ability is transferred to this like high school kid, and he's like not even can't even make the team. Then he's like, let me try out one more time. And then he fucking just starts slamming it down. By the way, this kid's like a five eight white kid, or That's maybe why he's you like Asian. It. Yo, well, <laughs> maybe maybe he's Asian. Maybe he was Dude. you. Hey, <laughs> wait, what, I, what I'm hearing right now. <laughs> I'm five eight and three quarters, and no, you fucking forget it. There you go. Wait, wait, no, no, no. Because I, I, I want to go back to uh, my NBA choice. I want to go back to the Toon Squad. I want to pick Bugs Bunny. 
Oh, okay. I'm kidding. I'm Slash bugs. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. No, no. No, it's <laughs> Keaton. He's retired, at least for now. I don't know if he's coming back. Is he coming back for the new movie? <laughs> See, just, okay. so you, just so you know I'm not racist, I always said that Air Bud should have been with a black lab. All right, whatever. Okay. Uh, can We're we go on? Oh, oh. Can we keep going? Do I, what is All it? right, so current NBA player, Kev. Yep. I already, I already did mine. Yeah, yeah. Kev said Steph. I oh, said Kevin Durant. I'm sorry. Oh, uh, Evan. Um, Damian Lillard. Zero. Zero. Hmm. Oakland. Or not oh, Portland, I'm sorry. Portland. Yeah. Portland. Who do I like in the end? He, he, fu- he keeps raining down them threes, man. I don't know who that is. Like, I don't know. I, I, LeBron's the best, but it's not my answer. Is he the best? I don't even fucking know. He's not retired, so you can still go with him. If I you know. Want. That's lame, though, I feel like. I like LeBron. Everybody loves LeBron. Yeah, I do like Kawhi Leonard, though. I'll go Dude, Kawhi now, Leonard. Now, here's the thing. I'll go Kawhi Leonard. Ah, Raptors ah, jersey. Ah, yeah, it's hilarious. <laughs> now, what, now, I was going to say, which 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 LeBron jersey were you going to go with? No, I wasn't. It doesn't matter. But I would probably purple. The Lakers? Okay. Kawhi Leonard. Mm. Yep. Can we uh, maybe listen like, to like, him like laugh? The, I like the purple and gold. <laughs> Can you look up him laughing, <laughs> Kawhi please? Kawhi Leonard's laugh. Thank you. Uh, All uh, right. Now, the, uh, the second topic is NFL. Uh, current Kev. Current NFL player. Um, not from the Eagles because that's the team. Yep, it's the team. It's the team. Go ahead. All right, so we're going to stay out of the NFC East because I can't stand any of the other teams. I'm probably going to go with. Um, I would probably get a Ryan I'm, Kerrigan jersey just to be clear. He's a Redskins linebacker, but uh, that's fine. I'm, I'd probably go with a um, Khalil Mack jersey. Mm, good choice. I like the Chicago Bears, the dark Chicago Bears jersey. That is a good choice. So you're going with who then? You're going with Ryan Kerrigan? No, no. Um, hmm. I, I mean, I was going to pick uh, – who's that guy that we're just uh, – Baker Mayfield, but is that going to be your pick? Because I don't want to double up on picks. Damn, then I'll go to Sean Watson. Good there choice. There you go. That's Sean a good choice. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, go. And he's black. <laughs> I, would go Baker, I would go Baker Mayfield uh, way jersey. I like the white and orange. Yeah, so the white orange. orange. There you go. Brown and orange looks a little muddied. Baker Mayberries. <laughs> Ev? Saquon Barkley. Hey guy. No, don't Is say Is the jersey it. you'll be wearing at least once? I actually, no, because you know, I've always been a big fan of running backs. Like if I was to have to pick a running back jersey to buy, I would hate it, but I would pick a Saquon Barkley. I don't know. Um, I would get a Kareem Hunt because he he's a kicker. <laughs> and, and a running back. Oh, there hey. you go. Hey. Oh. <laughs> Multitasking. Yeah. So you own Barkley then? Honestly, yeah, I think that would be like wow, a, a, he, wow. He's yeah. gonna be one of the. He's gonna. I know. He's, I'm, I, I agree. Because it, it'd be like that. He's like today's Barry Sanders if he keeps it up. He's fucking good, dude. He's better than Barry, dude. He's That's really he's good. insane. All right, he's NH- the best running back in NH- my mind. NH- we'll, give you a, we'll give you a break because he went to Penn State. Fuck Penn State. The fuck I out know, of here I'm with that. <laughs> NHL. Why'd NHL. you go to their football camp? No. Oh, okay. NHL. Current, yeah. current NHL. Yeah. I don't know a whole lot of the current NHL players. You got to go Crosby. Hold on. I got to look up. <laughs> oh, I'm just oh, kidding. I can't do Crosby. Um, ding, ding, ding. Yeah, this is a tough one. Alex of, uh, yeah. Ovechkin. 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 You can he's go a, he's Patrick a fucking Kane. crybaby, too. All right, well, not. You I'm can't, going, oh, I was going Patrick Kane all day. Yeah, okay, so I'll just put you down for Pat Kane. Pat Kane, away. No, the home alternate Chicago Blackhawks jersey. That's a good, yeah. Okay. He's also a New York guy. Upstate New York, but still counts. <laughs> and New York's a small state, so. <laughs> yeah, it's even small. <laughs> Do you have yours yet? No. Okay. Uh, I'm going to just. Um, Eric Carl Carlson. This oh, Eric guy. Carlson's very good. I play good. as him in NHL sometimes. So. He's pretty good. Yeah, I'll go with him. You guys got to keep up on your hockey. I'm going to go up on a pass. I don't I do not do hockey. Jesus so. Christ. Oh, I wrote it. Yeah. Well, I'll just do whatever. Really? You don't? I, I, I don't even know three players' names on the Flyers. All right. I'll just write. <laughs> here's what I'll do. I'll just close my eyes because I've looked up current NHL players. Jesus. And then the one my finger's on is your choice. This is a sports podcast. <laughs> no, I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with um, Jamie Ben is yours. I'm gonna go with Henry Henrik Lundqvist. Good choice. He should probably be better at being a goalie for the Rangers, but yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with Henrik Lundqvist. Okay. Okay. Now we're on right, base a ball. Yeah. Current baseball. Current baseball. 
Uh, I'm not going to go the obvious because I think somebody else is probably going to go Mike Trout. I was not going to go Mike Trout. But I'm probably going to go with um, Clayton Kershaw. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I love I love the Dodgers classic white Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that too. Okay. So. I'm going Cole Hamels. Cole Hamels. Uh, yeah, he won us a title, bro. Yeah, that's how I, I, I actually. And now he's with the Rangers, bro. Yeah, well, that's why I can pick him. That's right. That loophole, baby boy. God, I'm actually having a hard time thinking of a current. Is Albert Pujol still in? Yeah, I was going to say he is. Before. He's, he's, he's last still year. In. He's retiring this year. Oh, yeah. He's yeah. still in. Hey, who you got? I, got, I think I'm going to take a minute for this. I was going to say either Pujol or, or Kershaw. So we'll go Pujol just because Kershaw yeah. said. Okay. Oh, man. He's of. Spanish descent. <laughs> <laughs> you really focus on race. That's not cool. Dude, well, I <laughs> mean, geez, I mean, now that I'm looking at this, it's like I have one black guy in this whole of oh, two. Yo. Kevin Durant, Deshaun Watson. Oh hey. my god. <laughs> what? That I'm, they I'm are down, black. Boys. What? I would go. Uh, maybe I would go. Uh, fuck, man. Honestly, this is harder than I thought it would be for baseball for some reason. Oh, like, you're not, like, you can pick a Philly. You can pick, uh, what's his, the guy who just got Oh, about? yeah, Bryce Harper. Yeah, Bryce, like Harper. Bryce Harper. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I probably would just do Bryce Harper. All right. I'll there probably just do Bryce we'll Harper. give you Bryce Harper. Bryce yeah. Harper. Harper. I do like Bryce Harper. Okay, cool. Well, that, uh, Damn. that's it. Interesting so, list. So, I, 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 there were a lot of names in there I did not think we'd go with. Yeah. I was expecting which very one, common names. Which one threw you off the most, do you think? Fucking uh, goddamn Kenny Stabler jersey. Yeah, that was, yeah. That's that was yeah. That one threw me off. That one was yeah. I agree with that actually. And some of these names I don't even know. So who don't you know? Uh, Paul Korea. Oh, because you don't watch hockey. That's right. And Rod. Rod Carew. Rod Minnesota Carew was a Twins. fucking Hall of Fame baseball player. Minnesota Twins. He converted to Judaism too. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Why know, does that matter? Yeah, I don't know because you're all about race and stuff. So that's I thought not, you wanted right. to know. <laughs> Jeez. I thought you wanted to think about. And he's black. He's I thought, black I thought, you're right. He's a black Jew. I thought you wanted to think about your clan meetings. <laughs> I oh, will get him. <laughs> <laughs> wow. how, much, uh, how much time are you on right now? 41 minutes. Cool. I uh, wow. want to do plugs real quick. Mid show plugs. Mid show plugs. Yeah. Uh, okay, I want to give out your social media real quick. Uh, Jamie Man 128. On? On Instagram. What's your Twitter? It's Kev Dalton. It's I know at it. Kev Dalton. There you go. <laughs> it's Kev Dalton. I don't do Twitter all that much. You should start. It's fun. I do it's, more Instagram than I know. Twitter. I like Instagram the best. Blaze, what you at? I'm on Instagram. You can follow me at Blaze G Comedy, or you, uh, I got a Facebook page for Jazz Cabbage under our YouTube Drop Tent. I'm on there, Jazz Cabbage and Blaze G Comedy. Boom, Evs, Instagram. Uh, that's uh, at producer Evan N W W. Boomsies. Uh, you catch me at Adam Nutter on everything. I think I'm on Facebook at Adam Nutter Comedy. Uh, sh- fucking show dates coming up. What, what what's today's date? Today is the 6th of August Oh shit, okay August 15th, I'll be in Staten Island The Little Victory Theater You get $10 tickets at the door, I think Friday, August 16th I'll be at the Porn Stash And Philly at the Raven Lounge That's going to be super fun It's a bunch of comics who watch porn clips and talk about it And you jerk off together Yeah, I mean, that's a goal That's what I want to do You guys want to play Salty Cracker That's what I'm doing I hope I'm last Hope I'm last I want to eat that Uh and then November, uh, sorry, September seventh, I'll be at Hapro at the laboratory. Uh, it's eight thirty p.m. show. It's a five dollars ahead of time, seven dollars door. And then November, um, September nineteenth, back at the Pop in Chalfont, Pennsylvania, five dollars at a time, ten dollars at the door. And those tickets tickets sell fast. Yeah. So get them online. They really do. Seriously, uh, I don't want Blaze to get yelled at yeah, again by Jesus. the public. <laughs> we had it, we t- we had to turn away people at the door last time. So yeah. sorry, by the way, if you guys came out to that and we turned you away, it was nothing personal. We physically couldn't fit people in the room. And that older woman like got there way too early. She knew that the show started at nine. Yeah, and it was like eight fifty, and she's like, "Can I go up there?" I'm like, "No." And she's like, "Well, I've been waiting here since eight fifteen. Don't show up early, then. I, like, I, I mean, show up like eight thirty. Yeah, yeah like, relax, show up or, on time. But uh, everybody, thanks for coming out to those. But that's yeah, uh, that's, good. that's all those pluggies plugs out of the way. Yo, boy. There so, you uh, would you get do you? Uh, do we have another segment, or can I just no? Go ahead. spitball. Okay. Um, how much do you think Zeke holding out from the Cowboys will affect? We go zero and sixteen, <laughs> dude. Yeah, Dak we'll Prescott needs to on, he needs to do the play action rollout. Otherwise, he's yeah. fucked. They won't go in sixteen with it. They, dude, no, they'll go. They're garbage. They'll go eight, no. eight. They'll go eight and eight without him. Yeah, 
Absolutely. Ten and, and you six would, with? You would have thought he would have learned his lesson. Why? He looks like because, Dilbert, bro. Well, no, no, no. You, you, like, you think you think Jerry Jones? like Dilbert. No, you think yeah. Jerry Jones? Or an Ewok. He looks, no, like, he looks like... You think yeah, Jerry yeah, Jones like would have learned his lesson when he did this with Emmett Smith? Yeah, you t- we're talking about off air. But. That's right. And but, we, they went 0-4, and, and then he's like, oh, I better bring Emmett Smith back, and then they repeat as Super Bowl champions. So, yeah, I don't need a... Our team doesn't need a leading rusher for... To win the Super Bowl. Well, yeah, you do, Jerry, because... Your team does because you yeah. have Dak fucking Prescott. Exactly. And last time I checked, Skip Bayless isn't the coach. Bro. <laughs> Skip. Yeah. Skip. 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 Yo, that commercial, though, where he's arguing with the monitor, that makes me laugh. Have you seen it? Shannon Sharp comes downstairs yeah. and it's Skip Bayless and he's eating breakfast. He's like, Skip, Skip, Skip. Yeah. 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 That shit's so funny. <laughs> do, you, do you see Skip Bayless got caught like liking, commenting on his own shit, like, but, like pretending to be someone else? Before what the, a fuck boy. But he forgot to log out as himself. Oh, when did he? So he was like, dude, love you, man. Like, great show. But like, forgot it was under still Skip Bayless. And they're like, that's you. Why uh, would he do that? Because he's a moron. He's a fucking First lo- of all, why are you reading the comments, dude? Dude. You're way He's too a famous. Fucking loser. Yeah. And like I by the way, I don't know if it's shtick or if he's just that much of an ant. Like I don't I don't know how much is fake or not. I think that's real. I think it's real. Because yeah. when he was a beat writer that covered down there in Dallas, the players hated him. But couldn't that okay, but my my argument to that is couldn't that just been his way to get to where he is now? Like couldn't he be like, I'm gonna do a stick. I understand what you're saying, you know? but I've watched his like Instagram live or some shit like that, and it was like, This guy's a first of all, you know, he's weird. Because he yeah. like had a dog and he's like, This is mom, I'm like, dude, this fuck and it was like a little dog. This dog's the best quarterback it, in the yeah. world. <laughs> if, if, it was, if it was a stick for a while, it, he lives it. So I'm saying he lives yeah. it now. It's, oh, he started it's living it. Yeah. I agree. I agree. It may have started. Yeah, as a it, stick, might, it might have started as a That's thin my and, point. But now though. he's living because it. it happens I, with a lot of comics. I, I, and I know. And shit, I know. So, yeah. But that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I'm trying this new thing where I'm funny and I'm waiting <laughs> for it to. It's uh, you're waiting for it to become your new thing. Then? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's been working on it for a while. It's not going well. It's really not. Hey, it went well last night. It did go well last night, motherfucker. It did go well last night. It did go well last night. But um, good job. Thanks. You weren't there for some reason. Why would he be there? Why not? To okay. see me fucking do good. I see, I didn't know you. I didn't know you were going to be there. <laughs> He's there. Oh, night. yeah. Why were you there? Yeah, Jesus, guys. Where was everybody? <laughs> yeah, what the heck? Blaze is there every Monday night. Yeah. You could come John watch Peters. him bomb. Or, no, or occasionally you get some something special and you'll laugh. There Always you something go. special. Dude, last night was a good set. For <laughs> yeah, real. Yeah, no, that was fun, dude. It was. I, I was I was telling them about your fucking not leaning into that goddamn laugh. Yeah, and when I listened back to it, I was like, I should have because yeah, it was I know. right there. I know. And I got, yeah. all, but I and and to be honest, to be fair, the non comic when he was telling you when he was telling us this had the way that you should have finished it off. He Kevin actually be, before I even said how it should he yeah. he jumped in. He's like, oh, you should have done this way. I was like, yeah, that's exactly how we should have done it. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, yeah. <laughs> Why do you know that? Well, it's but, easier said in a car than it is on stage. I can give you that <laughs> fucking advice right there, dog. No, yeah. seriously. Monday morning, no. Monday, 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 Monday Tuesday quarterback. morning quarterback. You got right. you, you got to understand. Like all these people, were like he made a rape joke, and I was like, Ugh. but they liked it though. No, I know, but I'm like, no, no, I don't really do. <laughs> rape but jokes. by the way, it wasn't a rape joke. They perceived ah. it to be. Yeah, it really wasn't. But that, because right. they they jumped. I don't want to give away your joke because I you, want people to hear it. Yeah. But they just they jumped your punch. The, the you the the part they perceived to be rapey was actually just a setup of a, actually a very innocuous setup. It's yeah. actually not rapey at all. That's what I thought. It's not. But yeah. they thought that's where you. Were. They just jumped the not the shark. They just jumped your thought. Yeah. So they thought they thought you you were gonna be like, oh, I see where this is going. This is gonna be like a rape joke. Yeah. Or it's gonna be like a druggy joke. Yeah. It wasn't, but what you should have done was they were on board Stayed with it. With so you it, should have been like, of okay, pedaling out yeah, of yeah. it, yeah. Because yeah. you told, you actually said out loud, like that wasn't the part that you're supposed to <laughs> yeah. laugh at. Yeah. <laughs> Which I've never heard a comedian do in five and a half years of doing stand-up comedy. I never heard a comic go, "It's not the part I wanted you to laugh at." Hey, I didn't say it like that. I'm not three fucking years old. <laughs> yeah, but the you fuck know, was that? but but winners dictate history. So, yeah. <laughs> like I said, something special, special will happen. Oh, right? That is true. Yeah, there you, go. you never know when I get up there and start slinging dicks or whatever. So, yeah, <laughs> right. Jesus. Not to do that. that's what we do in New Hope. We're yeah, dude. What do you mean? There there, you dude, there'd be guys in the audience just, just like take your dick out. So you gotta give the I, people I, I what, what they, they want. I, I do what they ask. I do Mexican what they ask. duck says so. Hence, yeah. hence the reason why I don't go to John and Peter's to watch don't comedy. Why? Here. You a homophobe? You no. can't see a cock? I don't want to see you <laughs> proving it out. 
<laughs> oh, okay. All right, fine. I'll I'll turn away from you. Thank you. Yeah. I appreciate it. You that. get the side profile. This conversation's getting weird. All right. Let's move on to something about sports and not No, I dick. like Cox, right. bro. That's awesome. All right. Okay. Sports. Can you Google BBC sports. real quick? What? <laughs> Don't. So, the British Broadcasting Company? Yeah, yeah. That's what I meant. Go ahead, Kev. So I had, I had something the other day that I was thinking about. I was, you know, Of all things, I was mowing grass and thinking about um, the show. And I was like... What are the best intros into, you know, a sports thing? Who has the best intros? Like walk-ups? No, well, I mean Sunday night football music. No, no, like like, like the like, team when they come like out onto, when they come out onto the field. Yeah, they, they change that so field. much though. I feel like right. Well, I don't some, know, but some, some teams have like, like some teams have like uh, it's like their mark. It's like what yeah. they do each game. Some of their best, some of the best ones don't change it. Okay, all. I'll tell you my favorite one right now: Mariana Rivera coming out of the bullpen with to enter Salmon. Okay, because see, my favorite one, Chase Sotley, Cashman. Oh, Virginia my Tech doing it. My favorite one's Virginia Tech doing it. Hey, we can't play that because we'll get pulled. So, but oh wait, we could you could play it for us where no one could hear it, right? Yeah, no. fuck that then. No, because I want to hear it. Oh, I want to see. I want to. No, I want to watch you know it. See, you got to see the video. Though. No, it'll, it'll so, come up on the on the thing because I have everything running through the soundboard. Ah, shit. Yeah, yeah. So okay. if you see it, if you see it, you guys can Google it for yourself. Yeah, too. seriously, Google that for yourself because when you see it. Like the entire stadium is jumping up and down. Yeah, it's pretty sick. At their seats, it is. It, it is rocks. Ridiculous. It is sick. And I and I they interviewed people. Is that it? They interviewed yeah. people before, and they said that you can feel, feel it. No, it. no, this is when stadiums start falling apart and you fucking eighteen thousand people fall. Yeah, the they that. said you. They said you can feel it. Not these guys. Not these cops or whatever. Those are just band members. <laughs> uh, well, they got like badges on their fucking what. Those look like badges. Don't give me. That. I want to be able to hear this, David. We can't run this on their, no, off their Twitter. Off their Twitter feed. No, 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 no. YouTube. It, no, the mu- it's about the music. It's really, about the, uh, music. If the music's the music? copyrighted. Yeah. Then we can't. It's not the video. Yeah. It's the music. Yeah. Because yeah. Uh, we had a problem on the on the drop t- on the network with Matt. Ma- with Matt. Like, you can see. Look at them. They're going freaking I know. Bananas. It's so fucking cool. And then they they did a special. They did a yeah, but they did a they did a special one the other. Uh, Damn, you like would think they did it for a good team because Metallic, <laughs> Metallica was in concert I, down there. Yeah, and they actually brought Metallica yes. from the backstage. I remember that up onto the jumbotron yeah. when they when they came running out. So they were actually. I remember that part of the whole thing. Sick. It was it was sick. It was just it's, it's weird sick. how we both picked songs to understand, man. Though, <laughs> well, you know, Metallica is awesome. And by so. the way, uh, Brad Brad Lidge. Yes. He stole, right? Well, who cares? Understand. Was it, was it Brad Lidge who also ran out to Understand Man? I don't know. I thought yes. he came out to Wild Thing. Oh, no. No. That's, uh, what's his That's name? That's Charlie Sheen. He's got HIV? Yeah. That was Charlie you're thinking, of, you're thinking of this movie. Wild mm-hmm. Thing. Which I have that shirt. The Wild Thing shirt? The baseball. And I got mad compliments on it when I was in LA. I wore it to uh, one of the shows we did. Really? And people were like, dude, that's a fucking great shirt. Wow. I got okay. so many compliments. And you were like, right, don't so we touch were, it. Cause- all right, so we were talking about jerseys. And... A couple years ago, they held the NFL draft in Philly. So I'm down at the NFL draft, and I'm standing in line for a beer. You went? Yeah, went down to the draft. Damn, dude. Dude, that was insane. It was, was it awesome? I, it was one of the best things I've ever been to. It was, it was just insane. And I'm standing in line behind this guy, and he's got a Dolphins jersey on, right? And he's, so and I he's fucking around. hit him, right? No. Get out of Philly, you fucker. He turns around. It's a Ray Finkel jersey. Great. Wow. It was it was. Awesome. So I took I said I took a picture of it, posted it on my like Instagram. I said, Laces out, Dan. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> oh, okay. oh, that's a awesome. good question. If you had to buy a fictional jersey. From a movie? Ooh, yeah. fictional. Oh shit. Oh, I can't do this. I just bought one. Shane Falco, the replacement. Fuck you. I was oh, gonna say Shane I Falco. Really? I was gonna say Shane Falco. All right, I'll, I'll go it. with No no, I'll divert though. I'll okay. divert I'll All divert right. to, to Charlie Sheen Wild thing. Oh, okay. All right. You're but right. I was gonna say Shane Falco. There you go. He's You're the right. best, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Basketball. Get, get oh, a basketball oh, you know they basketball. have those. That's I know they call. do. <gasps> they have Wait, those. hold on, they yeah. do? They do. Guess what I'm buying today. They have those. Well, thanks for telling me that. Yeah, they have this. You know what I bought myself today? I just bought I just I just got in the mail the other day, I got my Flint Tropics. Me jersey. too. Except I have, I have a shirt. Yo, I have a cool jersey. I'll wear it next time. It's from Disney World. <laughs> it's a Lilo and Stitch, and it says Experiment Six Two Six on the back. It's fucking. It's like teal Yo. blue. Yo, I'm, I might get one. Go. I might get one of those. There too. you go. Is that on people. Amazon? Yes. Oh yes. fuck 
fucked you guys for telling me this. <laughs> you knew I would buy this. You, you guys knew I, I would want you buy to this. wear it. You got to get the jerseys and that's, the shirts. You got to awesome. get the Reamer oh, one though. That's that's awesome. You can't go Cooper. You got to go Reamer. You, you get think, both, bitch. You wait, think? Hold on. First of all, wait, you think I'm not? No, I'm not doing that. It's only fifty bucks. Hold on. First of all, you think I'm not getting both? Yeah. Home and away. You're joking. I'm getting. There's only. There's only home. No, right? yeah, we gotta get a prop. They never, had, they we never get, wore it away. We gotta get a. We gotta get a basketball that says "Lazy Boy" on it. Looks like somebody made a uh, a way. <laughs> See, you know, yeah, but that's fake. That's yeah, not. Yeah. yeah, I don't want. I don't want fake shit. I want uh, movie. That's, so nice. that's awesome. Though. That is cool. I'm gonna get. A, I'm thousand percent gonna get a Cooper and Reamer basketball jersey. By the way, if you guys, I'm mad listening, you guys telling me this. Haven't seen basketball. What are you doing? Yeah, what are you doing? Great. You and Patrick Seriously. Starr living under a rock, kid. That's right. So I want to buy that Jackie Robinson cream jersey, but it's like yes. 250 bucks. Yeah. But I don't know my fucking like coat size because it's like the Mitchell well, and it's, S it's very easy to do you go to the you go to the department. go down you to go the, the tailor store oh wait you know what and I you have, try jackets actually, on actually I have a brand new one I could just you have a tape measure that. and a yeah. wife measure so also a woman to just measure taking tapes to you yeah wow Dude. wow wow and they just wash dishes and make your sandwiches too yeah hey Get in here, measure my shoulders again. There's an opening. And you know what? Why you in there? there you go. <laughs> oh man. There you go. Uh, fucking broad bl- shoulders and broads, baby. <laughs> Blaze is like woman's only place is the kitchen. I was oh. like, hey man, you shouldn't say that hey, on the podcast. I'm not, I'm not touching. I'm not touching that right now. <laughs> I know we don't agree with you. We're not, <laughs> touching, not touching that. We all told you not to say it before you came on. We're like, you shouldn't talk about women like that, Blaze. I, th- I told you guys that in confidence. So that's <laughs> fucked up. All right. Uh. Oh, so, you know what I wanted to bring up? John Jones calling out Colby Covington and then Colby Covington's response. If, if you can pull that up, let's go to like uh, MMA. What's, what is it? Oh, oh, okay. So uh, let's go to like MMA Junkie or whatever. I think uh, Colby Covington. So uh, Colby Covington, who's like, he's like a big Trump supporter and shit. Oh, like he really? wears, yeah, he wears like MAGA hat. But he's also oh, yeah, like. He's wearing, yeah, dude, you can wear whatever you want. Night, yeah. But whatever. he's also like a heel. Like he plays the role of a heel, like a wrestling heel. Like, yeah. like the villain. Yeah. So he just. Oh, he might be doing it on purpose then. Is that but his, hold on. So is that he, his shtick? So I don't. I don't know. I, don't, I think it's a bit of both. Honestly, I think he does. I think he does support. I think he's a Trump guy. But I also think it's a bit. He, him playing the bad guy. I'm telling you, it all started when he shit on Brazil like two years ago, because he went down to Brazil one. And I, I will say this: Brazilian fans are very hardcore fans, yeah. and like they, <laughs> if you're not Brazilian and you fight in Brazil, they will fucking hate you. Oh, so he you went. Go. He went I've down. Heard that. So he went down there. And he fought and won. They were like spitting on him and shit. And he called them all savages. And then a lot of the other Brazilian MMA fighters were like, don't call Brazilian savages. Like, and then that's when he was like, you know what? Fuck it. And he just leaned into like being of kind of like that role. But he. I'm going to kill all the Dalmatians. Just, <laughs> all right, guys. He just had a fight with Robbie Lawler. And Robbie Lawler was a fucking legend, you know, a, a, right. a Hall of Famer, essentially. And he smashed him for, you know, for five rounds. He beat him pretty good. Wow. And John Jones, we all know who John Jones is, right? Yeah. Yeah. He tweeted out, Robbie just let the whole world down because everyone hates Colby Covington. Okay. If this were a real fight, I'd fuck you up. So, That's yeah. about the extent of my so, trash talk I know about in the <laughs> MMA. So <laughs> Colby responds. Can you go to Colby's response? First of all, get a, netter, a, a better name, bro. That, I just, that's why Colby? Just, that's just, a cheese, kid. Just pull up uh, MMA Junkies uh, Instagram. I think it was up there. Colby Covington. Oh, no, he has it right there. Uh, John Jones, uh, he's out here talking shit about Lobby, uh, Robbie Lawler letting the world down. John Jones knows firsthand about letting the world, the whole world down. Uh, Covington told MMA, uh, whatever. Yeah. yeah. Uh, don't talk about Robbie Lawler, John Jones. Robbie Lawler's not wrecking a Bentley with hookers in the back of his car. Robbie Lawler's not hitting a pregnant lady and then fleeing the scene with all his drugs in the car. Robbie Lawler's a legend. He's a family man. He's a first ballot Hall of Famer. So how dare you, John Jones, talk about him when he's the big when when he's the biggest piece of shit in whole, or the whole world, all of sports? Which is honestly, yo, is that shit true? Yo, yeah, yeah, all that's true. Wow, what um, the yeah. fuck? Wow. Adam knows my uh, yeah. thoughts on John Jones. Yeah, I hate um, love him. Right? He's, you he's, he's, <laughs> he's a piece of he's a piece of he's shit. A gar- he's, yeah, he's best. Listen to me, best fighter of all time. But he's garbage, <laughs> garbage person. Wait, um, what, which state did he hit the pregnant lady in? Because uh, that might have been Al- uh, New Mexico. Alabama, just New Mexico. No, no, no. Oh, he okay. had it with the, no, and it, like she was driving her car and he was driving his car, and then and it, it was a car accident. Yeah. And then, and then he, he just he left the scene wow. of the car. It was left scene accident with hookers and nice. drugs. Yeah, no, no, this no, guy. separate incident. Nice. They, they seem like they go plus hand all the hand. steroid stuff he got caught with. But that's a, honestly, that's a fair. That's a I mean, hate Colby all you want. That's a good response. 
Yeah, no, that is. Fuck good. that guy. If that's yeah. just true, man. Because he's right. Because like, if John Jones wasn't an idiot, easily, undoubtedly, unquestionably, the everyone's number one fighter well, of all he, time. Well, can I, I mean, see what John that, yeah. Jones looks like, please? Is that him? That's Colby Covington. That's Colby Covington. Uh, get a new haircut, kid. What? Go bald like me. Is that him? Yeah. You know, his brother Chandler Jones is on the Arizona Cardinals. You may oh, know shit. him. Oh, <laughs> shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's his yeah. brother. Wow. Yeah. yeah it's, his whole family is just freak athletes. It's like one of those families where everyone's yeah. just like that, you know, yeah. stud somehow. Like, yeah. And, yeah. and of course, like, he's at the top of his game in his field. Like, his brother's like one of the best yeah. defensive players in the NFL. Yeah. Like, it's like, but uh, they'll, they'll never fight. This fight will never happen because the weight, the weight is just too different. We should just get him in a parking lot. <laughs> John, John Jones. Would you not fucking that watch John that? Jones would do John, that? John that might be the only place that John Jones fights again. John Jones so. wins that fight, but uh, <laughs> but I just thought this was interesting. Yeah. That is interesting. There you go. Damn, dude. Yeah. Wow. This guy's a fucking piece of shit. Wow. Good thing I know. I was, you know, wondering who I hated <laughs> in MMA. Now I know. This guy, John Jones. Well, hey, I got one for you guys with, uh, oh, with sorry, some MMA it. shit. Uh, I tried to bring it up to Blaze, but he doesn't know anything about uh, MMA. Uh, Cain Velasquez actually had his pro wrestling debut. Yeah, it's fucking... Well, Brock Lesnar is a wrestler too now, isn't he? He was before MMA. I thought he went back. He didn't? He did. And Ronda Rousey's in there too, right? Yeah, she went from uh. real MMA to fake. Would, to you guys, would you guys bang her or no? Dude, that's not a question. The answer is yes to anything you say. Okay. <laughs> so I just we can uh, we can watch this shit right here. Yeah, just yeah. kind of have it showing up. Yeah, Fucking, so I mean he. You know, so yeah, no one knew. It, so no one knew he was going to be there. Well, so he's been training for a, you know for about because he's wearing a, a mask. Is my question to he, you? He's um he 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 uh, he yeah he he showed up in Lucha Libre AAA down in Mexico, which is like the biggest. In El Nacho Libre, Libre. Yeah. down well. Jack I mean, Black was in it. In, in, in Mexico, they made a Lucha movie about Libre it. Libre is, I mean, those people are looked at as like like superheroes. Yeah, um, like legitimate superheroes because they are you know held to a different standard. But, like Rey Mysterio. But my, my my question is even more was, than that. Was he was he like supposed to be a surprise? Um, people people knew that he was coming on, but he's coming on and he's really taking it serious because because he has big brown tattooed across his chest. Yeah, so I know who that is right away <laughs> if I say it. So like, if he's wearing, that's what I'm saying. He's wearing a mask. Is he wearing a mask to like be like surprise? I'm Cain Velasquez. It's like yeah, because you have big brown tattooed across your chest. So he's taking this fake sport seriously. He's also American. Cain well, Velasquez. He's doing. Taking the fake like that's, sport. Yeah. Hey, why don't you fucking fight again, Kane? I mean, because he's doing that now. I he's, mean, yeah, you're not going to get hurt doing this. I mean, you can't, well, but no, you know they, what I'm saying? They, they you know do, what I'm yeah. saying? It's way less of a chance. You're not going to get fucking yeah. your head pounded in. And, and, and you know, <laughs> by other heavyweights. Too, I think, I think like, I think it's going to show a different side that you can, you can more express yourself. I think like, as hey, like an, as like an artist. Almost. Let me put it to you this way. Do you think you'd rather be flipping over this guy's back and giving him a hurricana? Or getting his head or fighting Steve Miocic yeah. in the ring. <laughs> well, I think either way. It's, what do you it's, think he'd rather do? I think do? he'd rather be flying over this guy's back. Yeah, yeah. I think so too. Absolutely. And, I, and I think either way, it's fucking impressive whatever he's been doing. I don't want to do either. I don't, he was know a good, money, he was a, I don't know if the money. He was a good. He was a good. He was a great heavyweight. He was a great heavyweight. He's get. He was getting on a little bit in age, and now he went to this. He also got hurt too much. Ten, ten months later, and he's fucking going with the pros. Also, by the way, now that DC's heavyweight, he won't fight heavyweight. Because they're all him, DC, and Luke Rockhold are all fucking boys, and that's why they're all in those divisions. That's why Luke Rockhold always fought middleweight, DC okay. always fought light heavyweight, and that's why Kane always fought heavyweight. Because they were all they all trained together, so they never wanted to cross into those divisions. But then Kane was out for like fucking three years, so hey, so DC is like, well, I'm gonna fight heavyweight, bro, <laughs> and then guy won the belt. I, I'm fucking I'm fucking ecstatic for the dude. I mean, he 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 left UFC because of injury. Yeah, and now he's doing something that's fucking awesome. So yeah, and if he's and if he stays healthy and keeps it up, dude, that's great. Uh, good, for you, him, good for him yeah. to continue to make a living. Can yeah. you YouTube something for me real quick? Yeah, can you YouTube if wrestling is is fake? Explain this and click on the fourth video, <laughs> please. Do it. Do it <laughs> now. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. See, it's popular. Fourth video on YouTube. I don't know what it is on this one. Uh, Which if, one? Uh, th uh, it's the fifth one on this one. Fifth one? Is it two just making out? <laughs> Wait, oh, I've seen this. 
The other one's funnier than I found. I've, don't you can't don't don't show this. We'll get pulled. Oh, I'm not showing. Okay, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've seen this. So for oh, people, wait, so, no, no, yeah, 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 yeah. I YouTube did. I I wanted. To so do. for people, so for people, I wanted to who do aren't those. watching. The, no, dude, we we'll get pulled. No. We, 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 that, oh, that one. Yeah, have you seen this? Yeah, we're watching two videos at once. Hold on, take that off. The one that Evan pulled up is it's in, is one of those Japanese pro wrestling things, and they're just kissing each other in the mouth. That's disgusting. Which like, is, like, ugh, and then the other guy's like, ah. Oh look, he kissed him to death. Ugh. Oh my god, he's he's out. And then the one blaze right, just showed me. This is obviously taking a turn for the worst. Right and, then, now. and then the one. Stop bla- being a homophobe. And then the one blaze showed me. Fucking what, damn. And then the one blaze showed me was uh, the guy. Hey, they're the, grabbing each other's dicks. The guy grabbed them by the balls, but like the guy's. Balls like hurt the guy's hand, yeah, and the guy like got twisted by the guy's oh, dick Joey, and balls, um, whatever, because he flips people with his nuts, yeah, 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 that that's a little too much for me because wrestling super, super real, yeah, was, I uh, would never say it was if real. This was if <laughs> even as a child, that's why it's funny that uh, yeah. this is fake. Explain this, oh boy, dude, that's funny as shit. Are you joking? That's just hilarious, bro. That, I mean, have you ever been to a wrestling match? They're actually pretty dope. Like, I went I to have, a, they're actually one. cool. They're, I mean. It's it's really like a show. I gotta remember how much older I am than you guys. <laughs> Why? Which is, which wrestling is, for which you is, is little boys in a gym, or well, like wrestling what? for me was like you know Andre the Giant, yeah, and Hulk, stuff like that. Hulk Hogan, that yeah, guy, yeah, Andre the Giant, yeah, brother. So I was, yeah, I mean, not, Andre the Giant, this, Ted Bundy, fucking the people like that, right? Ted yeah, Bundy, George the Animal Steel. Is that a real wrestler? Yeah, yeah George the not, Animal, not the murder. George, 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 George Steel Animal Steel, used to, Steel the, used to eat the turnbuckles. Yes, yeah. he did. Yep, he used to tear them up and fucking he used eat to them. Tear crazy. Him up yeah. and eat yeah. the turnbuckles. Do you know he was like a professor or something? Yeah. He's like, he was like was a, a college professor. There was actually a lot of wrestlers who did well. I mean, yeah. like even now, Glenn Jacobs, fucking Kane. He's <laughs> and he's a libertarian, so yeah. fuck yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Damn, fuck dude. yeah. Um, have you got anything? Any, any new shit you want to pull up before we get? How many, I'm assuming over an hour, right? We're at an hour and six minutes, yeah. Hour and six? Hey, look at that. That's, That's pretty, pretty good, good, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Uh, was having B- so much fun, we didn't even know what was What's going on. What's that BYU on? thing out there? Uh, we were just looking at, I know that uh, Kevin was bringing up the uh, intros into sports and stuff like that. We were talking about the, uh, the Hokies football. Uh, but this is another one that's actually really cool, too. Uh, they get everybody rocking up in the. Uh, in, in their Up in uh, Mormon land. Yeah. Damn, dude, if anyone has epilepsy in there, they fucked. Yeah, they, they, they that pre- right there. That's pretty cool. Fuck, kill somebody with that shit. It's the sea of bright blue lights. That's pretty that cool. That is cool. Yeah. It reminds me of the first concert I ever saw was Christina Aguilera. It was like that. That's true. See, you know what the problem with these hype entrances are? Is like the game just doesn't start right away. Yeah, exactly. It's this and then everything stops. Actually, for two giant <laughs> slowdown after this, actually, and all the momentum gets fucking leaves the stadium. Actually, I've watched this, and I think this is like the um, intro, and then they do the players right after it. No, no but they should is, drop the curtains and they throw the that's ball. That's my up. point. My yeah. point is all these cool, even especially football, especially football. Yeah. It's like, yeah. the, the and then they huddle, then they huddle in their positions. It's like, the it's Hokey, like how are you guys stoked this whole time? Dude, it's like the right. Hokey, especially the Virginia one. It's like da na na. Everyone's like da da. And everyone's fucking so yeah. hype. And all the players are like yeah. And then it's like okay, national anthem time. Okay, commercial break. And the commercial break. <laughs> and then we gotta do the co- the ceremonial coin. It's like dude. That's not cool anymore. Hey, they should just yeah. kick off right after. Yeah. Right. They well, should run to the field and kick the fuck off. The, that, the and then you do the, indoor the commercial stadiums break. when you got all the pyrotechnics going on. And then when you're up top, you can't see shit oh, for yeah. the first 15 minutes. Especially, I love the camera. Yeah. And it's yeah. like, did it fucking fog What's roll through? What the happened in Nope, here? everybody's just getting cancer. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Just fireworks. That's you just right. waft it. Ooh, yeah. it. smells good. Get it in there. That was pretty cool. All right. BYU, go kooks. Go kooks. Go kooks, man. Yeah, I don't think. Oh, I did one about the Gettleman thing. Uh-oh. What are you pointing at? What about Gettleman? This piece of shit. By oh. the way, how the Giants have not blocked me on Twitter or Instagram is nuts. <laughs> yeah, how's that going? You were Dave Gettleman do doesn't that. care what you think. They're not blocking me yet. Oh, see, that? that's to you, Adam. He doesn't care what you we think. We can play this, right? The audio of the, his interview or no? Yes. Courtesy of Sports Illustrated. It's muted on the actual physical thing. What everybody knows, they have a problem at wide receiver. Uh, yeah, we know, you know buddy. You could argue that Just, yeah. Hold on, can you pause it for a second? From- the fact that that guy has a southern accent covering a New York sports team is annoying. Is, uh, yeah. You know what? Fuck the interview. Go to Just, Dallas, you fucking scab. Let's go back to the beginning of this article. Like at the beginning. He goes, uh, I've heard he's a conversation. 
Uh, again, I'm acknowledging my question is why uh, these fucking giants will work. I've been very new. Yeah, why is there any guarantee that you're going to write good article? Why is there any guarantee that your career will continue to grow? He says there's no guarantee. I'm, I'm not saying this from an arrogant place. I'm saying I've been around enough successful teams. I've seen the way they're built and to the degree of what I know is looks smell and taste. I have confidence in myself. I have confidence in the organization and Pat and the staff, the scouting staff. So I have tremendous confidence in ownership. It's almost like you're asking me if I'm being penalized because I'm confident in my skills. Penalized. You can like, so players you got the. People make fun of me. It makes them happy. Let them have it. I don't care. He says, I just know I'm blessed. I've got the Lord in my family and I've got football. Oh, loud. Get cancer back and die from it, you fucking piece of shit. <laughs> How am I not getting blocked by the Giants? Hey, he has a better That's haircut than That's such a selfish piece of fucking thing to say, dude. Because, no, you know what? Look at his smug ass the, face the, right the there. Reason, too. The reason he's in that position is because of the fucking fans. You're only have you're, there's only there's only such thing as the GM of the Giants is because people want to watch the Giants play football. Yeah. So for you to be like, I know what I'm doing. I don't care what you guys say. You fucking should care that your entire fan base thinks you should die from cancer. And you can still get fired, so, dog. So yes, yeah. yeah. Fucking, you are a cancer, dude. Get the fuck out of here. That's ridiculous. But I don't care. That's such a cocky, arrogant thing to say. <laughs> like you have a fucking you have people who spend their hard earned money every week. To, to how much of those fucking season tickets for MetLife? So much money. Yeah. PSLs, all that shit. Yep. Dude, p- everyone's not rich. Yeah. You have like fucking cops and firemen shit paying for season tickets, you know? Like you're putting thousands of dollars into your team because they care. And if you'd be like, no, well, I don't know. I know what I'm doing. No, you don't. Because you wouldn't have traded away your two best players. Ooh, yeah. Good point. Several star two, players who got not there. only Not only let them get away, but let them get away to... Rival rival team. Well, I mean, not the uh, Browns, but Landon Collins. Landon Collins. Several yeah. star players well, they who didn't got make their any moves walking. to get quarterback. You haven't made a move. They have no, no moves. Hey, to get we a got Daniel Jones. We'll be fine. Well, that's fucking great. Hey, you where's the gun? So I can fucking put it under my chin and pull the trigger. <laughs> fucking. And on that note. <laughs> Jesus. You know what? Christ. You know what I think they're going to do? They're going to let Eli start the season. They're going to bring Daniel Jones in, realize what a. F- Mess that was. Put Eli back in. Like they did they'll, last put, year. they'll put Eli <laughs> back in like they did last year, year in ago. hopes that they finish dead last. And then they'll hope that that kid from Clemson comes out of Oh, Sunshine? School. Yeah. Comes out of school early. <laughs> oh, right. That, that, that should have got yeah. more. I'm they sorry. Hope, they hope he comes <laughs> that was a good out. reference. <laughs> they, that was a good reference. But they hope he comes out early because then that's the kid that they'll get. To replace him. And hey, you know who yeah. they could have done this year? Guy Dwayne Haskins or Drew Locke or anybody else. <laughs> or any, yeah. Anybody else. You know, but None Drew, of those Drew guys Haskins, impress me. Drew Haskins is still a project. No, my, my point but is... But he's a much better athlete than the two quarterbacks that they have thank on you. That's my staff point. right now. That's my point. So, like, my, my point is the Cardinals hated Josh Rosen so much. They were like, we know we just wasted a pick on you, but we want you out and we're going to go get a, 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 a quarterback yeah. right away. Like, they weren't fucking around. Yeah, but didn't Kyler Murray play for Cliff Kingsbury? Yeah, but they were already saying... Or as they're calling him. Dude, if you K-2. had two... If you had them next to each other, Kyler Murray and Josh Rosen, you would pick Did Kyler... Did you just every- see the reports about Dolphin Camp? No. They, uh, Brian Flores, the head coach, just said... Or, or source just said that... Oh, we're fucked. They're, no, no, <laughs> that, that Josh Rosen is so far behind than Ryan Fitzpatrick. It's not even a close race, he said. Damn, dude. Imagine sucking that much dick. Fuck. Pay the fuck attention. No, I'm kidding. Uh, Dolph, uh, in Dolphins camp, there was a source that got released. Yeah. And it said that Josh Rosen is so far behind Brian Fitzpatrick, it's not even a close like race. Like the playbook oh my and God. the ability. And which, by the way, I told you guys. Fitz magic. Fitz magic. I told, no, I told you guys way before I said Josh Rosen is going to go down to the Dolphins and sell suck. And I don't know why anyone thinks otherwise. Yeah. No, I, well, yeah. I, I, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think we all picked the Dolphins to... No, fucking this clown behind the fucking... Keyboard. I just said they're going to be better than... Keyboards over four, here. Four fucking wins. I can't wait for you to lose. I'm and especially like, if fucking Fitz Magic's playing, they're going to have like six wins, dude. That's insane. Yeah, he's going to have We have to make a bet where one of us has to wear a shot collar for an episode. <laughs> oh, my oh, my God. God. I'm out. I am not yeah, playing these fucking weird games with you, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> Neil, Neil is not here right now. I'm not playing your game. That's crazy. Shot I know play game. I know play Adam, game. I know play your game. Fine. Play your be game. cowards. <laughs> I mean, dude, the thing is, I don't know how liberal you're going to get with that bug. No, no, no. We'll be, make it very, like, hey, I'll be, I'll, I'll be very fair with it. Only only if I think it's warranted for funniness. Which is, you just be like, yeah. No, it's not funny. Right. That's not funny. 
That's Turn it funny. up to Great Dane. <laughs> He's dying. Yeah. He's, He's dying. dying. I would send it <laughs> up to like Feral Hog or something. Feral Hog. Feral Hog. All right, fair enough. Jeez. I mean, I'd, 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 I'd be more adapt to wear it to my wrist than I would my neck. Because those things can burn you, bro. Yeah, but that's why I don't want put two it fucking high. like things. Yo, in Texas, you know how they kill feral hogs? I'm not, they just throw dynamite from plane, uh, helicopters. I'm not even kidding. It's awesome. Oh, that's fucked up. Well, because there's so many of them, and they're so like uh, dangerous to the environment. And so invasive. when are we going to start doing that to people? Hopefully fucking soon. Yeah, that's right. Oh, they do in all the Middle East. With all the wars we saw. All right, we're going to send that towards China. <laughs> Anybody wow. have anything else? We're heading out for the Political? And 15. Political? <laughs> political. <laughs> it's not political. It's <sighs> we're, we're joking. We're pulling decks. I'm just kidding. Yeah. I don't Touch your really balls and pulling decks. Yeah. Uh, no, we can wrap it up here. Um, again, you guys want to go to the plugs again, real quick? Yeah, Blaze Over G Comedy, show. Instagram, Jazz Cabbage, or sorry, Facebook and YouTube, Drop Tent. There you go. Instagram, Jammy Man128 and Kev Dolt at Instagram. Kev Dolt in. I think, I think it's Kev Dalton. And Kev uh, uh, uploads F- vi- uh, pictures of him in women's lingerie. You guys should check it That's out. True. It's, it's all over awesome. his stories. I hey, you can his find me at producer Evan NWW on Instagram. That's all I pretty much use. Yep. Uh, you can find me at Adam Nutter on everything. And again, check out his upcoming show dates and there's word podcast dot com. You can get tickets. Uh, Slash drop tent. Yeah. Well, yeah. Also, we are part of the drop tent media. Check out us and all the other awesome shows. Nerds of the Words, Popular Opinions, Jazz Cabbage, Magical Misery Tour, Drive Turkeys. We have more coming on the way. Those will be released soon. And again, if you guys want to come out to those shows, uh, August 15th, I'll be at Little Victory Theater in Staten Island, New York. August 16th, Porn Stash in Philly. Uh, September 7th, The Laboratory in Hatboro. And September 19th at the Pop-In in Chalfont, Pennsylvania. Guys, nerdsworthpodcast.com for those tickets or Instagram, whatever the fuck, whatever. I okay, can't believe guys. you guys got my girlfriend to do this. You fucking, <laughs> you fucking wish that Chuck was your fuck girlfriend. Fuck yeah, That's dude. Right. Look at that. You fucking wish. Are you okay. Joking? We're leaving. Bye. All right. Bye. Ciao.